many automotive companies looking for technology to form lightweight aluminum body structures. And this technology enables them to form, manufacture the lightweight body structures in low cost. We expect to save the petrols by at least 23 to 30% and reduce the weight by 50%. EPSRC provides the seed money to enable this research to be carried out, which is fundamentally important. So here in Sweden at the APNC facilities, we've seen the furnace uh, production facilities, uh, the price line as well. We're trying to match the technology to the facilities that are currently available on the market. We stand for automation, pressing and tooling, APNT. And we are here to help them to get it out in the production life. We really believe that aluminum is the next step. On this day, we're trying to extend the technology as far as we can. Having set that standard, we can then form any other part that's uh, less complexity than this one. So it's quite important to determine its success here. This component is all in. This is the hardest part to be made so far, and also one of the hardest in the world for car body structures. We need to get perfect components within this area. The facilities at Imperial have enabled us to understand the process. So over so many years, we could iron out most of the problems to the point where now we can actually hit full-scale industrial parts. The partnership between Imperial College and APT uh, does help our company to open up a new market. Now they are heating up the furnace to a specific temperature and the materials put inside and they take the materials out then put it onto the tool and then start to deform this into a shape. When we apply the lubricant and that area has not been applied properly, that's why the material have not been drawn in. This is a successful one. Yeah, that's why they are happy. <laughs> the success of this kind of parts being formed led the industry people to feel this technology is really useful for automotive industry. Professor Lin has done uh, astounding research over many years. He's an expert in the area. In the future, I would like to see all the cars manufactured could be used these technologies, get the air more clean and use less petrol. That's my <laughs> objectives.